Since the dawn of man, we have always asked ourselves, what is everything made of? We've found documents as early as the 5th century BCE written by scientists about this question. The ancient Greeks believed that everything was made of fire, water, earth, and air. At the time, this made sense, since everything could be grouped into a category like wet, dry, hard, soft, and etc. Under this theory, everything existed as one or more of these elements, and in different proportions. For example, mercury was a mixture of water and earth. Flowing lava was a mixture of fire, water, and earth. And living organisms were all different combinations of fire, water, earth, and air. This theory was taught by Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. But in the 4th century BCE, when Aristotle graduated from Plato's academia, he worked to try to prove the existence of a fifth element. He called this fifth element ether, from the Greek words pure and clear. He proposed that since fish needed to swim through water and people needed to walk through air, the planets, the moon, and the stars needed something to travel through as well. It was Aristotle's perfect completion to the universe, believing that it filled the space between Earth and the heavens. This theory was accepted as common knowledge for the next few millennia, and even the English word quintessential means perfect because of this theory. We now know that ether isn't real, and that empty space is just empty space. But Aristotle's theories helped us to learn more about space, planets, and the universe. Not surprisingly, the English word galaxy comes from the Greek word galactia, meaning milk. And that's why we call our galaxy the Milky Way. What would you think if you had no previous ideas about the universe? What would you think it was all made of? Think about it.